Hi, right, good afternoon everybody. Here we are in uh, the closet of Son of Shankopotamus. A little problem here. Without the uh, bright floor light down there, we're absolutely dark in here. Um, of course, the first thing you do when a light goes out is change the bulbs. I've done that. doesn't do a thing for it. Um, our problem is this little guy. It's a ballast. I'm going to show you guys today, well, and girls, I guess, how to change out a ballast. Um, it's actually very easy. This one, I mean, this light's not that expensive. It's maybe 25 bucks or something to get the whole light. Found the ballast replacement one that I've got. Let's see here. Oh, sorry for the camera. I'm about to fall off here. Oh, right there. Off eBay, five bucks, I think, something like that. And I love fixing stuff, so what the heck, let's go fix it. But when you're talking about bigger lights, some of your lights that are four bulb, six bulb, eight bulb lights, you blow a ballast on those, um, the ballast is way cheaper than getting a whole new light. And it's basically the same. Big ballast, bunch of lights, little ballast, just two lights. Make sure you get a ballast that exactly matches voltage, and it's really hard to see on here, but the wattage and the lights that you can that it can handle, okay? and the wattage of the lights that it can handle and how many it can handle and, and how it's wired. So those are the important things to look at. Make sure you get the exact same ballast. It can be from a different company, but it's got to have the same standards and the same, um, the same wattage and cover the same number of lights. Or you're going to blow the lights or blow the ballast or flip a, a breaker or something like that's going to go on. So pay close attention to how your um, ballast is tied in. This small ballast tied in only on one end. On the other end, these two, I can't quite reach them without falling off the ladder here. These two are tied together up underneath. So the ballast only hooks on one end in this particular one. And then of course your power, right? That's coming in, which of course is gonna be off while you're doing this, right? Remember there's old electricians, there's bold electricians, there are no old bold electricians. So turn the power off. Ground on this one is grounded straight into the light fixture. A lot of them are that way because once you tie this in, the ballast grounds to the fixture and then the fixture grounds to ground. Some of the bigger ballasts and stuff, you may have an extra ground wire that comes out of the ballast. Be sure you hook that in with your, with your ground, okay? Bare wire on your house wire is ground. Usually green is always ground, and there's usually a green screw, green-coated screw that you hook into. All right, so that's all the basics of it. We're going to get started on this one. This comes off right here pretty easily. Well, let's say that. Now it won't come off, okay? slips off pretty easily. You've got two options. You can go in uh, on this particular one, pop these out, pull each one of these out, put a screwdriver into there, pull your wires out, put your new ones in. I'm going to do that just so it looks nice and neat. Um, if you got a lot of these to hook up and they don't come out easily, it's much simpler just to cut the wire, strip it, put it back together with a wire connector like this. Okay? Then you'd have four more wire connectors over here, but I'm just going to you know, I'm just going to take this thing off and work on it. So there's a screw up underneath, I mean a, a nut up underneath here. I'm going to get that nut off. Then I'll disconnect my power. Then I'll take this down off the ladder so I don't die. Um, I'm not going to show you guys all of this because each one of these fixtures is slightly different. Just be sure you hook the ballast wires back up with the same color in the same order to where they were on the ballast that you're replacing. All right, you're going to blow some lights, blow some ballast. I don't know, I might even blow yourself up. Okay, make sure power's off. We're going to unhook this here in just a minute, um, and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll show you what we got. Okay, so we're going to get this screw off up in here. I mean, this nut off. Most of them are a screw. This one's got a nut that goes into the screw. Kind of tight against this wire here. But it comes off easy enough. Uh, I see it comes off easy enough. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay, good deal. Then you're going to disconnect your power. Okay. If you do decide to play with this without turning your power off, be sure you're not on a ladder that's too high. Because once you shock yourself and fall off, hopefully you just break a leg or an arm and not your neck. So I'm going to get off of the ladder up here while I'm messing with this and just uh, switch them out. Strip these wires. Oh, that's the only thing I meant to mention. If you're doing electrical work, get you a pair of these right up in here. Okay. Wire cutters, wire strippers, great, 
little piece of equipment. Crimpers on the back, all right? Okay, so let me show you a little something here while I'm, as I'm working along. Here's, um, here's my old ballast, all right? Um, I'm sorry, here's my new ballast because it still has the long blue wires on it, see? So I cut next to the old ballast, cut your wires. This is hard to do up like this. That's much, much better. Cut your ballast, cut your wires off your ballast where they're about the same. Um, or you gotta put a whole bunch of wire just folded up inside your ballast and hang it everywhere. A little bit neater when you cut it. If you have one like this, you know, these pop. Show it how, how these little guys pop out, okay? There's all kinds of different designs out there. Um, many different ways that these things go together. But I'll show you a little trick. This one has a little clip back here. It's got a clip on the front part, which is actually, you can see from this side right there. So you lift that little clip, push it back, go up over this clip, and this piece comes off. This top right here comes off. And I'll show you a trick as to how you can get them out of in there without too much work. Okay, so um, now we're down to here. Get these out of your way. Um, and you can see, hopefully, let's get the light on. Maybe that'll help. There we go. Um, you can see how you've got these metal clamps sort of in here. They've got a little piece that kicks against the wire when you try to pull it straight out. If you'll just twist these wires essentially back and forth like that as you pull, it'll come off. And then once you get the first one off, a little focus problem, once you get that first one off, then just twist this as you pull, it'll essentially screw it right off the wire and it saves this. So you try to pry that piece back, you try to pry that little catch back and pull it out, you can spring the catch too far forward. So when you put your next wire in, it doesn't want to stay. Okay? So better to twist them out and leave that spring um, on that little piece that holds it in. And not the spring, a sorry, the spring action, there's not actually a spring in there. See? And off it comes. Okay, blue side is on. It's gonna snap it back where it belongs. Oh, sorry, put the cover on it, then snap it back where it belongs. And we're ready to go. Okay, so for here we're all back together. Just ready to snap it in. These ends are ready to go. Okay. So I'm just going to hook her back up and turn on the lights. Okay, should be pretty straightforward getting it into there. Slide the slot in back here. Okay. Nut back onto there if I can get it started. No. It's too hard to get quite the right angle on it. Here's a little trick you can use when you got a problem like that. This one's good because it's a flange nut, so it flange. Sorry, a little south coming out in me. But anyway, it's got a flange on it, so it'll sit at the top end of your socket. And still, I can't get it quite past these wires. Okay, I guess we're back to doing it by hand. Hang on there for a second, people. No complication here. I didn't think we'd have to deal with. But you know, that's how all these jobs are. They're never quite as simple as they might seem sometimes. All right, good. Got him started. Uh, let's just get our ratchet going the right way. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Mm-hmm. All right, we're on it. Another cover piece. You know, I'm not exactly sure what the heck this thing does, but see right there. I don't know. 
So I didn't want to stay. It looks like a little piece broke off of it. I don't know. It's that important. Okay, so we get these guys. Get our end in. Oh, come on. There he goes. Well, there's a this is a slight maybe quarter inch too long. That's okay, they'll fit up in there nicely. Alrighty, let's get ourselves some power up in here. No little southern term. Power. I'm not sure how you spell that. Power? Oh, that's, that's not that's not even P-O-W-R. That's some strange hieroglyphic crap. Alrighty. So we got that on. Let's see, get our other one up in here. And yeah, just put them right up next to each other and off they go. These little connectors are awesome. Okay, then you're going to tuck everything up into here, right? And this guy like this. And then you see, I started with the cover off. I don't want to put it all back together. When you put the cover on, just push that up in there, slide the cover over and pop. I want to find my bulbs, put them in here first, make sure that we're all golden. And then the cover's here on the floor, I'll put it back on in just a minute. Alright, so here we are. Um, final product. Got the lights back on, got the cover back on. Uh, nice and neat, wires out of the way. Obviously, you don't want to leave those hanging out, but you can see how easy it is to do a ballast. Little light switch. And there you have it. So, hopefully, you can use this to fix your own ballast at home when you need to. Not too much work, save you a little bit of money. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.